Hi, I'm Numbered. And I'm Spenny. And you're watching Battle Gamer News. And today, we're reviewing Batman Arkham Asylum. In Batman Arkham Asylum, you are, of course, playing as Batman. And in the beginning, you're bringing the Joker into Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane. It doesn't take long, however, for the Joker to turn the tables on you and release all the inmates, including some of Batman's old enemies, such as Harley Quinn and the Scarecrow. The main plot is told through the game's numerous cutscenes and some dialogue with the guards and other staff. More interesting, though, were the bios and interview tapes of all the major villains left hidden about by the Riddler. One thing I really enjoyed was that they got Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill from the animated series to voice Batman and the Joker, which is a nice touch. It was good to see a lot of the major villains from the Batman universe, but because of that, the plot does tend to meander a bit and lose focus of what's actually going on. They do some amazing stuff with atmosphere in this game, particularly during the awesome scarecrow bits where your mind starts playing tricks on you. They will do subtle things with the environments or sound to just really play out the chaotic atmosphere of this game which is something they really succeeded at. The plot could have been a little more focused, but they make up for it in atmosphere and voice acting, so the plot gets a 9 out of 10. The graphics in Batman Arkham Asylum surprised me because of how great they were. Really, the graphics in this game are just stellar. Everything is gorgeous, and particularly when you first leave the asylum and go into the outside world. They do some seriously amazing stuff with the lighting in this game, giving it even more of a Batman feel. The character models and environments are all very detailed, and the layout of a lot of the rooms is really well done. I was also a little shocked to see some subtle things that they did with the physics, like Batman's cape or the plastic sheets in the hospital that don't affect gameplay, but it's nice to see they made the effort anyway. Being very nitpicky, I could say there were a few minor note clipping errors, and sometimes the mouth animations didn't match up with the dialogue. Overall, however, you will be impressed with the graphics of Batman Arkham Asylum. It gets a 9.5 out of 10 for graphics. The gameplay of Batman Arkham Asylum can be broken up into three distinct groups. Stealth, brawling, and puzzle solving. The basic punch and brawl section are really cool, but are actually quite simple. There are only three attacks, and you'll wind up mostly just using the X button to wail away on your opponents. The combat gets much more interesting when you use Batman's very stealth abilities. There are plenty of high vantage points to take them out from a distance using your special X-ray vision. The key is to take them out one at a time when they spread out. This becomes especially necessary when the enemies start using guns, which can kill you very quickly. Both combat styles will reward you with experience which can be used to purchase upgrades and abilities for Batman. There are several areas where you can use gadgets and jumps to do some platforming. For completionists, there are tons of little trophies and audio tapes laid out by the Riddler to find. They will unlock little bios for the main characters that really allow you to get some backstory for the characters. Overall, the combat works well, but it's just a little too simple to make it strategic. The gameplay gets an 8.5 out of 10. Even if you're not a fan of Batman, this game has a lot to offer, especially if you're a fan of open world games or beat-em-ups. It looks like we're giving Batman Arkham Asylum an outstanding 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching Battle Gamer News. Subscribe and check back every week for more game reviews.